Kendall Montgomery, and this is Ultimate Concealed Carry News. Each week we assemble the top stories from network news, online news outlets, and videos relevant to you, bringing you your weekly gun news all in one place. This week marks the one year anniversary of the Newtown tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary. Gun rights advocates remain the majority despite the media's claims. New reports prove the country's support for stricter gun control is waning. New Jersey is now going after children's BB guns, and a small town in California is being sued by the NRA. Why is the silent majority silent? It puts its money where its mouth is. While news outlets, celebrities, and an endless parade of anti-gun campaigns continue to bombard us daily, the fact remains that the majority of Americans are against further gun laws. According to the Sunlight Foundation, a nonprofit organization which reviews government lobbying, spending, and policies at the state and federal level, direct contributions in favor of gun rights far outweigh those in support of gun control. Gun rights candidates and causes raised $29.4 million in direct contributions to candidates, parties, and PACs at the federal and state level. Gun control causes only raised a mere $1.9 million. Lobbying spending for gun rights accelerated faster from its already elevated level than that for gun control following the Sandy Hook school shootings, according to Sunlight. Gun control groups increased their federal lobbying five-fold to $1.6 million over the past year. Yet it still paled in comparison to gun rights lobbying, which clocked in at $12.2 million. Roughly 1,500 state gun bills have been introduced in the year since the Newtown tragedy. And of those, 109 are now law, according to the New York Times. 70 of the enacted laws loosened gun restrictions, while just 39 tightened them. Though the majority of the laws loosened gun restrictions, there are still those states who made their laws even stricter. The Brady campaign released a report this week with the top 10 states with the strictest gun control laws. I want an official Red Rider Carbon Action 2 inch air range ball air rifle. Ooh. No. Shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out? You'll shoot your eye out! You'll shoot your eye out! You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Not only could you shoot your eye out, kid, you might also go to jail for owning that BB gun. New Jersey makes little or no distinction between Daisy's classic Red Ryder BB gun immortalized in the film A Christmas Story and real guns. They must be registered and are subject to the same laws as any firearm. New Jersey's strict Graves Act gun law covers possession of a BB gun right alongside serious gun control measures such as outlawing sawed-off shotguns, filing serial numbers, or using firearms to commit crimes. New Jersey attorney William Proetta said, in all honesty, kids who were charged are looking at mandatory jail time. Violating the act can bring a minimum three-year prison term and steep fines, and the law is enforced. So until changes can be made to this preposterous law for this Christmas, how about a nice football kid? California was once again ranked number one for the toughest gun laws in the nation, which comes as no surprise to anyone. But there were some victories this year for gun rights in California, especially with regards to semi-automatic rifles. But Mayor Spitaleri of the small Silicon Valley town of Sunnyville was not happy about the prohibitions that failed during the most recent session in Sacramento and got Measure C passed to enact their own gun ordinances. Spitaleri wrote Measure C after the Newtown massacre. It would give gun owners 48 hours to report lost or stolen weapons. Sunnyvale's two gun sellers would have to keep logs of ammo sales for two years. Guns would have to be stored in locked containers with trigger locks. And it would ban possession of magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, with some exceptions. Oddly, there are only two places in Sunnyvale you can even buy a gun. U.S. Firearms and Big Five Sporting Goods. And U.S. Firearms owner Eric Fisher is speaking out. I think it's kind of big government mentality on the small level. I think, you know, if laws are to be effective, they need to be statewide. Since the passing of Measure C, a gun store owner and a national gun industry trade group have sued to block enforcement of parts of Sunnyvale's new gun control ordinance, claiming that it clashes with state and federal laws and tramples on constitutional rights. The NRA plans to file its own lawsuit early next week. But why is California so gun control crazy? We'll leave you with the words of one of our favorite NRA commentators, Mr. Coleon Noir. I just can't wrap my mind around why California is so dead set on making their citizens victims. Maybe I could understand gun control zealotry from California if the current overreaching gun control laws made California a utopia. But it's anything but. Texas has more guns than California has people. 
Yet in 2011, Texas had a lower violent crime rate and a murder rate than California. So please tell me again how more gun control makes people safer. I'm Kendall Montgomery. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.